Hey everyone, this is Torquador from Subject Neutral, and welcome to Torque Tuesdays. Now, before I get into this uh, video, um, I'd like to explain what I'll be doing for Torque Tuesdays. Uh, essentially, I'll be uh, d playing random sn uh, s uh, snippets of games, and um, yeah, I'll just be doing random stuff. I'll uh, I'll set like small little goals that I can do within a couple of videos or something like that. Um, but another feature that I'd uh, like to do for Talking Tuesdays is hear from you guys on what exactly I should play. So um, say I've got comments saying like uh, you should play Fallout or another person says I should play Z try out Zero AD and give everyone puppies. Um, just so you know, that is quite possible. Um, yeah, yeah, it is quite possible. It might come, uh, might be a bit of a long route, and I'll probably die horribly. But anyway, um, so yeah, if you guys leave comments in the uh, bottom of the, uh, uh, if you leave comments down below uh, about things you want me to try out or do or like something like that I'll go ahead and do that so uh, yeah so enough chit chat let's get to the video so um, I did some improvements uh, to the um, to my pilgrim ship in the last one um, this one's called uh, EC-2 Saint Adeline uh, the EC stands for Explorer class I figured that was pretty standard but yeah um, I took some of the things I had learned building the first ship and I essentially built this one right back from scratch taking in the account and uh, I really like the interior of this like it was much better designed you'll when we do the tour through it you'll see a lot of uh, similar stuff um, from the previous one but uh, the hangar, yeah, oh, I've got such an improvement to the hangar, and uh, I've got a little bit of color coding, nothing on the outside yet, because I still haven't found a color scheme that I really liked. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, and, well, I did add in a lot of armor and other features, so it's a bit more of a combat ship, but uh, compared to the first Pilgrim, this guy's kind of sort of a little bit more ugly. I'm not as happy with the outside on this one than the first one. But let's get to it. Oh, I didn't even realize it was this close. But, okay. So yeah, this is the EC2 St. Adeline. As you can see, um... I tried putting in the rotors. The one bad thing, uh, um, sorry, uh, I put in the, uh, what the hell is that called? Ro uh, rotating engines in here, and I did set them up to rotate. The only bad thing I found when I was doing test flights was, uh, when I push forward, these guys do absolutely fuck all. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, I figured, oh, I'll just, uh, bring them around so that they face the front to uh, increase my stopping time yeah they don't even turn on so um, one idea that I had just thought up of uh, before I started recording this video is um, in the uh, in the pilot seats like if you look at my toolbar right at the bottom of the uh, screen uh, if you're in a pilot seat you can put in actions and one thing I was thinking about doing was uh, making it so that these engines here would turn on at the press of a button and then that's how you could activate them and whatnot so you can rotate them uh, with that same toolbar and then turn them on and off but yeah but as I said this is a bit more of a combat ship and you'll notice uh, these guys and if you're not familiar with space engineers these are Gatling guns um, so far their primary primary uh, use in Space Engineers is to uh, destroy asteroids that are heading your way. Um, but then obviously a lot of people just put them on ships because they look badass and uh, because you don't want enemy fighters uh, coming in. 
So, yes, yeah, as, as you can see, um, the one aspect I didn't like was uh, this is four, this wall here is four layers of light armor straight to the, uh, uh, in between the crew quarters that got blown to shit when I did that broadside in the old pilgrim. Uh, yeah, so this is four layers. Um, I think the top layer is three, three blocks, and the bottom layer is three or four blocks, I believe as well. So yeah, it's obvious a lot, uh, obviously a lot tougher. Um, I did drive it around, and it doesn't seem that much different from the uh, the first pilgrim. Uh, which that's, I really like how that turned out. Um, it just, as you said, like, the front here doesn't look as sleek. It's got the two torpedo pods right in front. And then if you notice, it's also got the broadsides, which I've, uh, I've hooked up. Uh, also one thing I should note too is, uh, the Gatlin guns. There's three on the top, th three on the bottom, three on the bottom four on either side and then there's eight torpedo pods on the side as well everything is hooked up to that cargo cra uh, cargo uh, container thing so I've got all the conveyors in here so um, I've never actually really used conveyors so I'm pretty sure uh, putting a, a conveyor beside a um, cargo container will suck stuff out of it and then it will uh, send stuff to where it needs to go uh, but if that's the way it works then yes everything here is um, plugged in and uh, so all you have to do is fill up the bit large cargo container and then these Gatlin guns will get their uh, bullets and the torpedo pods will get their rockets so yeah I'll just do a quick little drive around on the outside um, I also wasn't very happy about how the engine housings uh, turned out. Um, it was a lot of extra armor on there, so I was just starting to get a little fed up and just was slapping engines everywhere just to make it uh, maneuverable, and that's essentially why I think it's just as uh, maneuverable as um, the first Pilgrim. But yeah, let's go in on it. Let's go in on the inside. Do the interior tour. Come on. Oh, and also if you notice, um, the gravity here is 9 G's where the first Pilgrim was only 1 G. Uh, I did the 9 G's uh, because of... Um, uh, I can't even remember the name. Uh, it's uh, the mass, um, like, uh, shooting, uh, gra gravity weapons, that's the word I was looking for, gravity weapons, um, uh, the 9 G's is so that if someone shoots a, uh, a gravity weapon at you, which is essentially, well, you guys know what a gravity weapon is in this, it's essentially just a, a ship with a mass block and then a couple of gravity generators on the back to give it a, a, a motion. The 9 G's will take anything that's going straight towards the ship with mass and then shoot it straight down. So, like, if I go up here to show you guys, um, there. Like, you saw how fast I was booted out of there. Like, that could also be a bit of an escape hatch, too, if you really want to get out of the ship. Uh, but yeah, this is the hangar. So it's a little bit more improved. Um, I've got color-coded uh, landing pads here. Uh, and I actually really like how this hangar turned out. So like, uh, it's got all the defenses and chain guns on the outside. And then it's got this little guy uh, for defense if the enemy through the hangar door, they get mowed down by that guy. But 
I'm not too sure what this guy does with uh, ships at all. I assume it does some sort of damage, but it might be the equivalent of a uh, machine gun or something like that. Oh yeah, let's do the Grand Tour. That was close. So, I've got cargo containers here so that uh, if your ship's slow on uranium, um, I had this feature for the Fat Boys, and as you can see, I've put a nice little label about them. Um, I've had I had this kind of gas container, uh, gas cap, uh, bit on the last one, so I really like that feature because the only you have to do is you just load yourself up with uh, resources and then just plug them into there. But I didn't have the cargo containers here to hold all that, so I just plopped them down here so that like oh. Ship needs some uranium. You grab it from there. You toss it into there. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, the uh, the Fat Boys got a bit of an upgrade as well uh, with the uh, the main ship. Uh, they I I did like the double uh, leg so, uh, landing pad uh, better than the single one, but it just wasn't working out. Uh, they've got two chain guns now and that uh, and they're more center balanced so like it's two blocks uh, above the chain gun and two blocks below the chain gun so they uh, so when I fire the guns the whole ship doesn't start to pull down like I was having issues with in the uh, previous version um, it's also got the antenna that displays the name I have no idea what the TGG is I did hook these guys up with remote controls, so uh, I mentioned in the last video where you can go into the control room. Uh, you can't hop into a seat, unfortunately, and take control because you're technically taking control of this ship, and um, I guess you can't uh, take control of a ship while you're uh, in control of another ship. Uh, so essentially all you have to do to take control of these guys is simply go here, hit K, and then change the, the ship to this. Actually, uh, why, don't I, why don't I do that? Uh, this is Fat Boy 2. This is now um, the uh, the Fat Boys uh, the Fat Boys control bit, and uh, I was talking about the remote controls. All you have to do is click on the remote control, and then hit control. And right now I'm in control, but I can't really do a whole lot. So, but I've hooked up a camera into it, so. Okay, so the controls are a little bit um, not working all too much. Gee. Oops. Okay, so uh, I don't really even know why. Uh, which one guy is this? Uh, Fat Boy 2. Let's take control of Fat Boy 2. See if he's I might have better luck than the next time. 